So today's video, we will be going over how to read a pedigree. In this video, we will cover what is a pedigree, what information can we find in a pedigree, um, what do all those letters mean, and the best resources for further pedigree information. Uh, so let's dig into it. So what is a pedigree? Um, a pedigree is essentially the dog's family tree. Uh, so as we can see in our little example here, uh, we got the particular dog we're looking at, and this is the family history of this dog. So in our first generation here, we have the father and the mother, or the uh, sire and the dam. Um, and then each successive generation, so we got the grandparents and the great-grandparents here. Um, so that's kind of the basic information you can find. You can find the, the dog's bloodlines and whatnot, uh, but there's a ton of other information that we can glean um, from some of our resources. So uh, we'll kind of go into that now. Uh, so what other information uh, can we find? So we'll just go straight down the list here. Uh, we got a date of birth, death, height, weight, breed registration number, uh, what organization they are registered under. Uh, we have a breed survey results as well as the hip ZW scores, uh, confirmation show results, uh, working titles obtained, hip and elbow health results, owner breeder information, national level and international level event results, uh, videos, pictures, and more. So just a ton of information. Uh, so we will take a look at an example now. So here we are on the working-dog.com home screen. Uh, from here you can do a lot of different things. Uh, for the interest of this video, we will find a dog uh, to check out the pedigree on. So uh, there, there's a couple ways of doing that. Up here is a search field. You can start typing the name of the dog and it uh, should come up providing you have the right so we will take a look at so as you can see here i've put in part partial of the name and possible uh possible hits came up uh, none of these are the ones i want so if i yep so see i put in a little bit more there's the dog i want and so we'll learn a little bit about yoshi here so, Yoshi von der Dallenvesi, uh, German Shepherd dog, short haired. Um, right here is his date of birth, date of death, height, weight, his, uh, his pedigree number, which is the number at the uh, organization that he's registered under, his number there. Uh, here is the association in which he's registered, which is the SV, the German Shepherd. Uh, German German Shepherd Dog Association um, result we'll get into show score we'll get into a little more depth uh, working certification here that's uh, the try the um, Schutz and IPO title he's attained and health results uh, this is hip dysplasia normal uh, there can also be elbow scores there um, owner breeder information all kind of good stuff so uh, as we scroll down here, we kind of get to that pedigree that we went over with the uh, father and the mother, and the uh, the rest of the uh, the rest of the uh, family tree. There, here are the events that this dog took place in. So, the 1994 Bundesliger. Uh, these were the scores he attained. Uh, premium members can click on. If it's this orange, hot, orange, red highlight here, uh, you can click on it and see actual video from that event. Uh, you can also go down here, and this will be all videos uh, for the dog. And then we got some more images. So uh, we'll kind of dig into what some of these things mean. Uh, it's a lot of letters and and whatnot so we will uh, kind of go more into that we will start off here with the show score so we got the show scores here um, basically show scores indicate how well the dog's physical characteristics compare to the breed standard um, also a, a the dog's show score can sometimes be shown before the name of the dog uh, so for instance um, down here we got uh, kind of the information from working-dog uh, and as you can see the show score they got a V so sometimes you'll see the dog's name written out Yoshi von der Dahlen Vesey 
but then you'll see a letter before or a, or a couple letters. Um, that is the indication of um, the dog's confirmation rating. So you can see some of the common confirmation ratings down here in the bottom left. Uh, VA is excellent select. That's usually reserved for uh, the show dogs, the black and red German Shepherds. Um, not always, but 99.9% .9 of the time. Uh, v is excellent. SG is very good. And G is good. So those are kind of the sign some of the common uh, confirmation show scores that you'll see listed. Uh, next up, we've got um, working titles. So now we're on to working titles. Um, as you can see on the right side here, we've got um, the same uh, screenshot showing uh, what shows up in working dash dog. So if you go about three quarters of the way down, we got working certificate. And as you can see, Yoshi got a Schutzen 3. So over here we got common titles. So as you can see, Schutzen uh, is basically the, the the test as it was referred to before 2012. After 2012, it was changed to IPO. Um, some of the other common uh, titles you'll see is FH. Those are tracking titles. HGH, which are herding titles. FR, French ring. MR, Mondio ring. And um, also ZVV, which is the Czech version of Schutzen IPO. So those are some kind of common working titles. There's a ton more. Uh, we can't get into all of them in this video, but those will cover 80% of what you see. So next thing we got are some health ratings. So here we are at health ratings. Uh, again, on the right side, we got a screenshot here. And as you can see, it's third from the bottom, health results. Uh, so Yoshi was HD normal, which is hip dysplasia normal. Um, and generally when it means health results, we're usually talking about hips and elbows. Uh, the the hip test is testing for uh, hip dysplasia, and elbow test is testing for elbow dysplasia. So, as you can see here, we have the different uh, some different organizations that certify hips. Um, in America, it's usually the uh, OFA. Um, abroad, it's the SV or FCI. Uh, so, and this is kind of a chart showing. Uh, the OFA results compared to what the approximation of uh, that result is with the other uh, organizing bodies. This isn't; these aren't perfect charts. Uh, they've all got a little different uh, criteria for what makes what. So uh, this is a, 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 a similar approximation, but it, it's not it's not hard and fast. Um, so. Then we got, kind of got the elbows down here, same thing. Uh, but this is what is referred to when we're talking uh, health results. And uh, this is kind of um, the chart showing uh, what means what. So next thing we got up is the breed survey. So the last part we're going to kind of uh, dig into here is the breed survey. Uh, as you can see on the screenshot, uh, kind of towards more towards the middle, um, on working dash dog, it is listed under result. Um, so this is the breed survey results. This is basically the breed survey is basically a test that combines the dog's working abilities with its confirmation, uh, and, and it's not really judged on points or, or anything like that. It's kind of they're kind of given either recommendations for breeding or not. So uh, post twenty twelve. Uh, any any new dogs that have gone through a breed survey, uh, if they're recommended for breeding, will get a KKL, which is core class. Uh, there's no pre 2012. There was a core class one, which was strongly strongly recommended, and a core class two, which was just recommended. Uh, but now that's changed. There's only one, and it's core class. So um, also in this result panel. Uh, as you can see here, there will be a ZW number. Uh, that is a number that is kind of a number that's based on the amount of breeding the dog's got and how much uh, hip dysplasia is in those breedings. Uh, so uh, you can do more research on that on your own, but that's what ZW is, is, is a hip dysplasia, uh, how well the dog passes on its hips, basically. So uh, next we will get into some resources. So as far as resources go, guys, 
uh, working-dog.com is your, going to be your number one resource uh, for all this pedigree information. Uh, it, it really is the best website in the world for working dogs. Uh, it's got all kinds of stuff on there. We, you, like I said, we went over the pedigree stuff, but you can see videos, you can see pictures, uh, you can see event results, uh, dogs for sale, upcoming breedings, just a, an absolute ton of information. Anything that you'd want to know about working dogs, you can find on there. So www.working-dog.com. Get on there, become a premium member today, and get going, guys. <laughs>